Hello there, Leo. Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Leo placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and you switch the roles. Take what resonates. Leave it as a fit for your situation, guys. Thank you all so much for your love, your support, and your donations. I'm sending you a lot of love and light and happiness to you on your journeys. Anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages that are on here and on any other um, social media platforms, okay? So let's see what's going on, Leo. My lions. Let's see what's going on. My lions and my lionesses. <laughs> what's going on with y'all, man? How's your weekend going, Leo? Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> let's see. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm Leo and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones are turning back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages from my Leo collective. And protect me as I channel the messages here for Leo. So let's see. What's going on? What's going on in the current energy for Leo here? Somebody could be saving your belongings. Like if they, yeah, I'm looking at the bottom. It says sentimental wears or keeps something of personal value of partner or ex. Refuses to let go of something their ex gave them. This person could have a piece of your clothing. Child. I don't know if that's good. <laughs> okay, they could have a piece of your clothing here. But the way that motherfuckers are doing magic today, I wouldn't want them to have shit of mine. Okay, what's going on here for Leo? So we have disillusion. I mean, dissolution. It says someone wants a separation or divorce from significant other, demanding certain changes or dissolution of partnership. There could be, I was just picking this up for Leo. This is just coming out like clear here, I guess. Uh, I mean, not Leo, but Pisces. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Leo, but I picked up in their reading, someone is like blackmailing someone. <laughs> someone is like blackmailing someone or trying to keep someone stuck in a relationship. And if they leave, they're going to expose this person. Okay, child. So anyways, what's, uh, what's going on here? Okay, we have traumatic events, loss of a job or traumatic life events such as such as illness or mental depression, putting a strain on the relationship. Give me more spirit. It's a lot of fire here, a lot of red. So something could definitely be going on with someone's like root chakra. Yeah, loss of a job. Okay, um, it says loss of a job here. That's that Mars energy. So you could be dealing with an Aries or they got Aries somewhere in their chart. It's like somebody's about to explode here. There's a volcano. Somebody could be enraged or upset. Okay. What else? So we have a need for speed. Okay, yeah. I was kind of like getting that. Somebody here needs to slow down when they're driving. This could be the life event that happens if they don't get their shit together. Or if somebody's like driving mad. Or if you're mad, you don't need to go for a drive. You just sit your ass down and just cool off or something. But it says a need for speed. Moves on quickly from one relationship to another. Surface level love disappears when things start becoming serious. Mm, what else? Emotional cheating engages in emotional relationships that are outside of main relationship, turns to others for comfort, overshares with others. Child. Uh, we have inattentive, easily distracted by internal and external issues, wandering eyes, backup plan, moving on to the next best thing. Cold as ice, scrutinizes. Let's talk about sex. <laughs> Brings up and inquires about how many past lovers partners partner has had. Wants to know if they are better to compare and compete and be. <laughs> okay, child. Let, let's see what this is, Leo. 
Somebody here is like, somebody needs to let someone go, man. Like, I'm serious. Someone just is really hung up on someone that's not hung up over them at all. It's like something is really over and it's hurting somebody's ego. Like, bad. So, let's see. <laughs> I'm hearing somebody, whoever somebody is with. Whoever somebody chose here to be with, <clears throat> they like, oh, well, you're not good enough because Leo is not fighting over me or they're not pressed about me. So you must not, you must not be hitting on shit. You're a loser and I want to break up with you. <laughs> like, I'm serious. Like, somebody's like, somebody keeps going from partner to partner to try to make you mad. I feel like Leo, but you're not. Like, you don't give a fuck. They could be the baddest bitch walking or the, or the nicest, you know what I'm saying? The nicest looking person ever or whatever the fuck. And they can actually be like a good person. So I feel like you don't care. You don't care. You just want this person to leave you alone. It's kind of like what I'm getting, but they're not. Okay. The Nine of Cups and the, what's this? Queen of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're protecting your peace, Leo. It's like, uh-uh. What's a uh, dis dissolution? Yeah, <laughs> the Ten of Cups in the reverse. And the Star, Aquarius. <clears throat> Pisces Mars here yeah the first card that came out is Pisces so you could be dealing with a Pisces go look at that one or go look at all of them child um so first of all the ten of cups in the reverse somebody here they just need energy supply whoever this is right here they go from relationship to relationship because they need some sort of supply. Once that supply runs out, once they can't get no more healing energy or good energy from someone else or whatever, once somebody start, once people that they date start seeing their ways or being unhappy, then shit start getting rocky. Now they're going to somebody else. This is the kind of person, they're a narcissist. Okay, that's just what I'm getting. They're a narcissist, just period. Okay. Um... Well, I think I'm going to take, I'm going to keep my glasses off because... <laughs> Um, the Ten of Cups in the reverse could be like a divorce, okay? It's a divorce, but this is like somebody is in an unhappy family dynamic. Like somebody is faking their happiness in a family. This is like something to keep up looks or it's like a facade. It looks good on paper, but it's really nothing there. Okay, somebody is just really, somebody needs to heal. Somebody could come from a very dysfunctional family dynamic. I mean, I feel like most of us have. That don't mean we run around doing this. I mean, I know I didn't, but whatever. <laughs> like, someone is very just sad. They're miserable. They're not... There's no inner happiness here. I feel like there's, like, a no peace. Okay? No... It's just a whole bunch of conflict in a relationship. Two people that don't fucking get along... So, okay. The star, this could talk about too, like a broken relationship. I mean, well, obviously, but I meant to say, um, yeah, like a, a co-parenting relationship here that <clears throat> a broken family dynamic is what I'm what I'm trying to say. What's um what's this ten of cups, man? Some of y'all are just trying to leave someone because you just want healing, you want peace. Okay, you could be going through this process right now. You're just trying to maintain, stay positive, stay hopeful. Okay, because what's the Ten of Cups in the reverse, though? Yeah, the Six of Swords. I feel like Spirit moved. Yeah, Spirit tricked this person because I feel like Spirit pushed someone into this kind of mess here so they can heal and do what they're supposed to do. But I feel like it's more so about you. I feel like somebody here tricked this person into some mess. So that way you can heal. So that way you can have peace. Because I feel like somebody wouldn't leave you alone otherwise. Like, I feel like, feel like they led this person into a mess, okay, on purpose. Spirit did that shit on purpose to this person, because they need to leave you alone. What's, uh, what's Ten of Cups in the reverse with the Six of Swords? Yeah, the Sun. Leo Energy.
somebody is like sad about losing a family they're sad about this broken relationship y'all could definitely have kids okay like i feel like with the sun and the six of swords this is you moving on peacefully okay six of swords is like healing being guided by your spirit team i feel like this is vitality happiness joy um you could be moving towards like a masculine energy or you're just in your masculine energy um and taking action you know just like moving forward some of y'all could be moving to a sunnier place or you could be going out getting some sun i feel like you're just happy as fuck you're successful or you you're you're going towards some sort of successful like the solution of a marriage or whatever the fuck you or disconnect <laughs> Something could be going on with someone's like fertility. Someone could be, someone could be having fertility issues. Somebody here could have just miscarried. My condolences. Someone is like really, just like I feel like abusing somebody, man. This person is not shit, really. I feel like there was a pregnancy here or something, but it stopped with the ten of cups in the reverse or whatever. Some of you guys are getting ready to go off to have a baby. Okay, so congrats. You could be getting ready to have a little boy with the son, possibly. Okay. But somebody else is struggling with something else. I feel like this is a this is somebody here that will stress you the fuck out. If you're pregnant by this person, I feel like they will stress you out and then you fucking miscarry. It's like somebody here just really stresses you out. They 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 suck up all your energy. They're an energy vampire. Like they're an energy vampire here. Someone I don't know. What's the what's the star? Yeah, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, it's like what's the star in the Knight of Swords? Gemini energy. The Five of Cups. Yeah, whoever this is, they attack people that they know. Whoever this is right here, they go after people that they know have some sort of um healing. Like they're they're really good people. Okay, basically, like they're really. They could be healers or, you know, this person. I don't know. I'm sick of their ass, though. This It's time for their ass to go. But, um, Scorpio Mars here. We got Gemini. So, someone is sad because I feel like you're moving forward quickly or... You're moving on with another masculine and now somebody's like reflecting on how the family broke up or how y'all not together or whatever this is okay <clears throat> some of you guys will be seen in a public eye or i don't know i feel like your faith is strong you could be very spiritual very creative very inventive innovative okay you could be into astrology i feel like you are very healing somebody here just they need some sort of energy is what this is giving me somebody's like sad depressed or miserable so they're like attacking you with the knight of swords is kind of like giving but this talks about two like big changes there's some sort of big changes here some sort of wish something that you prayed for okay i just messed up my something that you prayed for is coming into fruition um leo and somebody else is sad somebody could be coming in to like help you make all your wishes and dreams come true like this could be this emperor that you're dealing with or you're you're dating <laughs> the hierophant the moon and the devil <laughs> what the fuck so <laughs> let me see what's the knight of swords nine of wands what's the knight of swords nine of wands sagittarius moon the eight of swords yeah somebody here whoever this is they attack your wound leo they're, they're they attack your wound here what i'm getting with this is the king of wands the world the hierophant the moon and the devil this is this person here accessing some sort of like portal they could be looking at you online watching your your photos or or they have something of yours like i said in the beginning where they masturbate to it it's kind of like what i'm getting with this this person could be in, in some sort of secret society or like a cult they're in like a dark coven or something like that. 
<clears throat> this person here attacks your womb. Like I get, I'm getting this very strong. Could be another Leo doing this weird ass shit. Yeah, this is about to, yeah, there's your child. I can't make that shit up if I try it. The Ace of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the damn Page of Wands. The Queen of Swords in the reverse will be infertile. Upright is somebody here is fertile. You are. There's nothing wrong with you. Like I've been saying, it's, it's coming back out again in the readings where somebody has been doing womb magic or trying to bind you to them or whatever the fuck this is. Something has been hard to do or whatever. This could be like a love relate, like a relationship, actually having a real relationship here. It's been hard to have one because somebody just continues to try to bind you in the spirit or they keep trying to open up some sort of portal to attack you. They're a part of some sort of society. It's dark. They're a part of like a, a cult here. They're satanic, very demonic person. And they're obsessed and they hide their obsession. They try to get you to conform to them or whatever this is by doing whatever this is in the spirit. Okay, but so... Now I feel like it's getting ready to go back on their ass. With this, this person is getting ready to be infertile or they're getting ready to have problems with their private area or they're not able to have kids or a family with someone else. They're not able to continue doing what the fuck they're doing. Because I feel like whoever this is, they hop from relationship to relationship and get multiple people pregnant or vice versa, child. Women trap men too all the damn time. Whatever the fuck this is, okay? Nine of Wands is like showing resilience. It's like... um defending yourself protecting yourself i feel like something has been hard to do though with the nine of wands like it really has because somebody been attacking your ass and they've been trying to keep you stuck with the eight of swords yeah somebody okay so what happened is that the knight of swords is someone that's heroic okay this is somebody that is a leader they're focused they're driven they're um this this caused some sort of like big change because some of y'all were having issues with something and I feel like somebody here came in. You could have met someone. Or something like that. Yeah, new love here. Yeah, they, yeah, that broke some sort of hex or whatever the fuck this is right here. I'm telling you. What's the five of cups? What's the five of cups here? Somebody has healed your like womb or they healed you or they help you heal in some sort of way. The King of Pentacles, Taurus energy. It could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, though, but I just get Taurus with this. It's actually Aries, Taurus, Cusper. Yeah. What's the Five of Cups with the King of Pentacles? Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Virgo, Venus. Yeah, something set you free here. I don't know. The, this King of Pentacles right here, this is somebody that... Let me see. Let me go. Who does King of Pentacles specifically, Spirit? Who's the King of Pentacles? Child, the Queen of Pentacles. I can't make that shit up. Who's the Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles together? Yeah, the Page of Swords. So, yeah. Somebody here wanted to stay attached to you in the spirit so they could monitor you. Somebody wanted, wanted y'all to stay married in the spirit or something like that. It's like a spiritual spouse. They're very demonic. Okay, this energy I'm picking up is not cute at all. It's not funny. It's not cool. It's not none of that shit. <clears throat> so I feel like somebody wanted to stay married to you in the spirit so they can keep attacking you. This person has definitely blocked your womb. They blocked, they played in your sacred energy so much for so long. Okay, just period. I'm getting, um, but if this, this queen to the king of pentacles, somebody is sad about this. Five of cups, someone is like sad or they're in regret or whatever this is. They're upset. So they're watching you and somebody here be together. And because you're free, Page, the, the nine of pentacles, this is you like free here. And I feel like you're going into a marriage, somebody that you're meant to marry. This person, every time you meet someone or you, yeah, it's like somebody really just, <clears throat> somebody here is trying to manipulate a spiritualist like you're an actual healer you could be a, a white witch here you're an actual spiritual person like very with the high priestess out here page of pentacles you could be into divination practices okay you could definitely be a reader a medium of some sort but you would definitely have a lot of spiritual gifts so does your person as well 
I feel like you need somebody that's gonna match you. If you're a white witch here or a healer of any sort, this King of Pentacles is one too. Okay. You can have a very successful business here, um, Leo, as well. But the Nine of Pentacles talks about wealth, prosperity. You could be someone of status, like you have status. So could this King of Pentacles. That's somebody that's a high quality person. Okay, they have status too. They could be very wealthy, very stable, secure, resourceful, just like you. You and this is equal partnership. It's like power couple energy. So someone is like watching, spying trying to plan certain things to make you be single again so they can keep attaching themselves to your energy. Nine of Pentacles is well. Yeah, look at the page of cups. Something about children is very significant. Child and the Empress. I can't make that shit up at all. Nine of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles. This is, this is, I mean, this could be something too about your work. If you're not at the age where you can have kids anymore or whatever, because older people do watch my channel. I'll be trying to be, you know what I'm saying, diverse, but what I'm picking up with this shit here, I was getting ready to say, first of all, the Nine of Pentacles is pregnancy, is conception. <clears throat> Some of y'all could be getting ready to have like an air sign child. Okay, for some of you. Child. But but yeah, the Page of Cups, Empress, Nine of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. You're definitely getting ready to start a family, though. This could be like a project. Something about your status is leveling up. Your ranking is leveling up is what I'm hearing spiritually. Your business is elevating. Your money is getting ready to elevate. This is a fame, prosperity, fortune, good luck, good fortune, all kind of shit. This could be you cre getting ready to create, start a business. You're tapping into a new gift or whatever the fuck. For some of you, you're definitely getting married. Page of Cups, Nine of Cups, and the damn Ten of Pentacles. Some of you guys are getting married and you're having kids. That's just period. Like, it's, this is this is a pregnancy announcement or an engagement announcement. There's the ring. There's a proposal. There's the offer. Or this is the child. Or both. Two, 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 two on the timer. Somebody here is watching to see if you're still single or if you're breaking up with someone. I feel like you're not. <laughs> you're not. Somebody here just... And every time they see that you're with somebody... Or you're getting ready to move forward. They're going to attack your womb. They're playing your energy like dead ass. <clears throat> okay, bitch. What's uh, traumatic events? You guys will be saying 999. Spirit really be tricking these people, bro. I'm telling you. Nine of Cups, Trump card, the Emperor, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, what's the traumatic event here? Loss of a job or traumatic life event, such as illness or mental depression. Yeah, the fool. I feel like you're saying, well, not my problem. <laughs> like, you don't, you really don't give a fuck. Because this person here, they do a lot. <laughs> very controlling, very abusive, very nasty energy. Very strategic, very like five of swords with the ten of swords. Somebody here has lost their damn mind. They do have a mental disorder. Like they do. What's uh you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Leo? What's the traumatic events with the fool? <clears throat> Four swords. Somebody here is now single. They probably the one single and they watching you now. You're in a relationship where they wanna it's like Nothing is working out in their life, so they want you to be single too, or they want you to like struggle like them. It's like, bitch, no. Like, like dead ass. So, four of swords, Libra, Jupiter. Some of y'all could be getting ready to go on a vacation. Okay, four of swords with the fool. You could be getting ready to take like a, like do something new. This is like adventurous. Excuse me, Leo, damn. Excuse me. <laughs> That, I didn't know that was going to come out, but um, <clears throat> I feel like you definitely made peace with something. You're at peace. Okay, somebody else is stressed out. Four of Swords, this is you being free. You're free from this shit. Somebody is stressed out because of that shit. Yeah, the Two of Cups. What's the Four of Swords? Like, 
someone here just some of y'all are planning for your future like you're just moving forward what's the four of swords yeah the moon somebody here is hiding the fact that they have a mental illness like and it's it's real like this person something is going back on this person yeah we got the sun and the moon here so balance you could definitely be in a twin flame connection too once that comes together, all that dark energy really disappears, dead ass. Anybody that try to keep two people from seeing, from being with each other or try to like do some dark magic to keep them from elevating and ascending on their journey, bitch, you, you gotta go. Either it's hell or jail or something. But you definitely gonna have to get the fuck. Yeah, the devil. Yeah, the will. Yeah, it's time. It's time for somebody to go. Like, I'm, I'm serious. It, it's, it's, it's late for all this shit. Yeah, this damn, this could be another Leo, like I said. This person is trying to stay attached to your good luck, your good fortune, or whatever the fuck. But what's the what's the four swords with the moon? So somebody is thinking about how to conjure up. Yeah, I was going to say how to conjure up lies, how to keep somebody stuck. Someone is just like very deceptive. <clears throat> what's the four swords in the moon? Yeah, the five of swords. <clears throat> Aquarius, Venus here. Cancer, Pisces. So someone is a bully. They're very mean, very nasty person, very, very um strategic or they trying to win at all costs or whatever. This person just lays down at night and they think about how they going to fuck some shit up or they like to play on your mental. They like to play on your subconscious. Such as illness or mental depression, putting a strain on the relationship. I feel like you, the five of swords, let me see, what's this five of swords? Because this could talk about standing up for yourself, fighting back too. This could talk about victor being victorious, this five of swords. It's like, bitch, two can play that game when that shit come out. <laughs> to me, sometimes, depending on what else I'm saying. What's this five of swords? <clears throat> yeah, the queen of cups. Yeah, I feel like you ain't did shit to this bitch. They're just mad. They're always mad. What's the five of swords playing a cup? Somebody here feels like you're weak or because you're so emotionally balanced that they can just pick on you or whatever. Somebody here plays on your subconscious, your emotions with the moon and the queen of cups. Very emotionally abusive. I feel like it's driving this person insane that you're so kind. It's like you're, 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 what's that saying? Um... Something about kindness, y'all. I forgot. I always forget that saying. But what's the five of swords, queen of cups? You got cancer in your chart. Yeah, the seven of pentacles. Somebody could be trying to manipulate you or do something in your dream state, child. This person is crazy. <clears throat> and Taurus, Saturn. I feel like too, I'm getting, I'm looking over here again. This person here could be in a marriage. They're married to someone here for financial reasons only. They both sad as fuck in this damn marriage. You're moving on and they're stuck in an unhappy connection where there's no fertility, no abundance. I feel like maybe it was like that at first. Okay. Like these two people, they're so unhappy. They're watching you be abundant or while this person ran off. Yeah. And got into, got married or got into a relationship all quick. You stay single and started working on yourself, built, built, you built yourself up. So now you can move on with somebody you've healed. You're moving on with someone else or you're getting ready to, or something like that. Or this person here, they play a lot of mind games on their partner and they go out and act like they're single or whatever, the, whatever the fuck. But this person always keeps their eyes on you, your business or whatever the fuck you do. They're pocket watching you. It's all about money for whoever this is. But the Queen of Cups here, somebody sees that you're emotionally invested into something or just yourself. You're very emotionally balanced. I feel like somebody likes to play with you when you're when they feel like you're your most vulnerable. And it's like, bitch, vulnerability is a strength. I feel like that's what you're seeing now. So somebody's like waiting or Seven of Pentacles is like somebody waiting for something. I feel like... um. It's like, I feel like you're realizing that you made a good investment somewhere. Okay, Seven of Pentacles is like you receiving, like you're enjoying the fruits of your damn labor. Whatever hard work you put in or whatever is, you're getting back all the good shit that you worked hard for. 
You know what I'm saying? So that's like harvest. This is wealth inheritance too. The seven of pentacles. Some of you guys could definitely be psychic. Somebody does play on your psyche a lot. Like they just, this person has lost their mind. <laughs> Somebody has really lost their damn mind. What's the, what's the moon? The Hierophant. What's the moon here with the Hierophant? We got Taurus. The Ten of Wands. Sagittarius, Saturn. Something is being released here, Leo, so that way this contract can come in with this Hierophant and the moon. I feel like you were guided to like a Hierophant. Some of y'all could be spiritual gurus, spiritual teachers. Okay, you have a lot of ancient wisdom and knowledge here. So I feel like the whole time this person been manipulating you, they invested for some of you seven to nine years of manipulation. They invested seven to nine years of manipulation. And I feel like all you've been doing is releasing, letting things go, learning your lessons here with the Hierophant. Okay. I feel like the whole time you've been conforming to what spirit told your ass to do or you've been being guided to somebody. This hierophant could be, some of y'all could actually be getting married, but I feel like this is a contract you're going into. They're already in one and they sitting up here sad or they said that this is you and your person in one, but now I'm looking at it. This could be those two idiots together and you're over here single, minding your business and you're healing. You're free. Somebody's looking at you be free and do whatever the fuck you want to do while they decided to go do whatever they wanted to do, which was a bunch of nothing real fast. They went nowhere fast as fuck. So, yeah, some of y'all could be getting ready to work on like a new project or this is like I said, a proposal and engagement. Something is progressing. OK, like dead ass. Something is definitely progressing here. So. I feel like it's time for somebody to learn some shit here of their own. This person here needs to learn a real harsh lesson. Okay, it's time for them to learn. The moon, the hierophant. I'm picking up something else, but I can't really put it into words. Let me see something. The hierophant too talks about like faith here. So your faith, I feel like, yeah, is very, very strong. needing to rest a lot more leo because there's things that are leaving whatever is you're struggling with or whatever kind of burden you're carrying from the past or whatever this is i feel like it's being released right now you could be going through maybe a lot emotionally it doesn't feel bad it just your emotions are tempered they're balanced i just feel like you're doing a lot of um like ascending possibly and you feel tired or drained so just listen to your body when you feel that way I'm getting to somebody's like in some sort of secret cult or society. Okay. They 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 do shit in the dark. This person hides a lot of shit they do from their damn wife their, or their husband or their friends. It's like, what's this right here? What's this? Somebody is ill. They're laying down. They're sick. Or somebody is going insane. Yeah, air. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So something is definitely going on with someone's mental health. Okay, this could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's this? Hierophant with the moon, the ten of wands, the four of swords. Worthy of you. Scared to come forward because they don't think they have enough to offer you. Mm, what else? Blind faith. Yeah, something about faith came out. Trust that God or the universe will guide you exactly where you need to be. Gather mother wound and alternate reality. Yeah, psychometry, higher self. Somebody here is in, somebody is gathering with other people in some sort of society. 
to watch you, to spy, to stalk, to stalk you, to do magic on you for some of you. They're trying to alternate your reality. They're trying to alter whatever it is that you see. They're trying to cause an illusion. What's this hierophant with this? Lottery, yeah, in the reverse. That's like the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse to me, this card. They say odds are stacked in your favor. You intuitively know the numbers. Get a lottery ticket. So somebody here, somebody here is losing money or they, <clears throat> they're they stealing. This is like somebody trying to steal someone's inheritance or they're just very greedy. Okay, and I feel like they fake their wealth and some more shit. I feel like this person is being laughed at right now. Somebody here could be getting strangers to like bully you or laugh at you or make fun of you. It's like, bitch, how old are we? Like, who the fuck? <laughs> five, five, five on the timer. This all like some sort of ritual or like an attack. You know what I'm saying? To like play on your, your emotions or make you spiral or some shit. What's this? What's this? I feel like this person does this too behind their person's back. Like the person that they're with doesn't even know that this person is like that. Same shit that they did to your ass that you didn't know about. <laughs> like, uh, safe to breathe. Yeah, the hard part is over. Take a moment to recover. One of a kind, patent. Yeah, there is only one you. Be your most authentic self. Give me another one. Time traveler. Individual has moved between points in space and time. What's time traveler? Dirty money. Yeah, this is, again, something. It say not all money is good money. Miserable job, theft, fraud, extortion, illegal activities, and caution. Somebody's, like, astral traveling and doing all that weird-ass shit. That's why they ass sitting up here sick now. That's exactly why. I can almost bet you, damn, a thousand dollars right now that that's why they sick. <laughs> okay? Like, or, or whatever group they got to do whatever this is. Somebody paid someone to kind of like to do something to you or this is their ass doing this. Or somebody here too could be trying to fucking um, attack a masculine. This could be somebody that you're with. <clears throat> and they're trying to play on this person's mind or whatever the fuck. This person is too smart. <laughs> like... They're trying to do this when you're sleeping or some shit. What's this fool, man? What's the fool? Somebody is a damn fool. Yeah, the tower. Yeah, they ass is sick because of this shit. Or they getting ready to be if they do this shit, bitch. Because it is getting ready to be Easter Sunday. A lot of rituals take place at that time. So. Try it if you want to. Yeah, somebody here did some strong ass magic. Or they called themselves the magician, the shrimp card, the seven of cups, and the three of wands. Now somebody's waiting on to see if the illusion is working or whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> like i'm serious somebody's like confused because they're trying to figure out how the fuck you overcame something how are you standing in your power how are you moving forward how do you still have inner confidence how do you still how are you still doing what you're doing how are you still growing they're confused as fuck so the fool in the tower what's the fool in the tower aries scorpio energy yeah the empress <laughs> yeah i feel like you're fine you're stable you're secure your self-esteem is still intact. You're not insecure about anything. Okay, you're you're moving on to create. You're abundant. You're growing. It's just like somebody here, I don't know what the fuck. You're free. I, You know, I'm kind of like getting the energy too where somebody here is protecting you. Because somebody is understanding too. I'm getting that there's your ranking. Whoever this is could be going to people that could be... Somebody here could be paying spiritualists, maybe even dark spiritualists to like do something to you. But I feel like if they're a real spiritualist, they look into the person first to see if they could even do it or they consult their guys, their spirit team, whatever the fuck, however they do that shit to see if they could even attack you. I feel like somebody's trying to be funny or revengeful or spiteful and they're trying to get other people to do things to you and it's going back on their ass. It's not working. It's not working here. Instead, it's making them sick or whatever. And I feel like whoever they're going to to pay to get this work done is laughing at their clown ass. Okay, because you're you're still moving forward. Like some of you guys have survived some sort of car crash. 
uh, I'm hearing something about like death magic or something like that. I'm looking at the Tower and the Empress. Some of y'all getting ready to find out you're pregnant or something here is shocking. Something is shocking here. Somebody is shocked that you're free or whatever. <clears throat> but the tower is like chaos, things falling apart. Like somebody here, man, what's a need for speed? Somebody's like waiting on something that they paid someone to do to work. And the person that they paid to do something is a psych, like they're a psychic, but it's something like this person is like tricking their ass. They're not really doing what the fuck. Somebody is like, they're doing what they're being told to do or what they need help with from the person that's trying to attack you. Like they want revenge or something like that. They're doing a little something, but not doing everything that they could do. You feel what I'm saying? Like somebody, they're saying that you're not to be fucked with. So it's like, they're doing a half-assed job for this person that's trying to attack you. It's like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but like what's, What's a need for speed? Let me see. Rushes, rushes, it's a speed demon. Rushes relationship before being ready. Seeks thrill and excitement. Intense feelings of highs and lows. Feels a huge need to be loved. Yeah, I feel like that's a ass. Let me see. What's a need for speed? I feel like it's both. What's a need for speed? Okay, yeah, everything is fine. What's a need for speed here? Seven of Swords, King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <laughs> um... <clears throat> So I'm getting, this King of Swords could actually be like Archangel Michael protecting you from somebody that's just being a loser. But this could also be someone too that's like raising their standards or they definitely set boundaries or cut someone off here. Somebody here is moving with integrity. Let's see though. Because everything is fine card is here. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Someone could have an Aquarius moon. Somebody's like trying to run off or yeah, like that. What's this? What's this Seven of Swords? Someone like gets cold or or they're getting like cold and they're being like just real heartless is what I'm getting. What's the seven of swords? What's the seven of swords? The world. What's the seven of swords with the world? Hmm. What's the seven of swords with the world? Queen of Wands and the Two of Cups. The Shrimp card, the Hermit, the Knight of Wands, the, the King of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Somebody here is really trying to cause a stalemate. They're trying to like trick you into believing something here and it's not working. <clears throat> it's really not working. The world talks about a new beginning, something here that's closed and you're, you're moving on to a new beginning. Someone I feel like though has tried to like do something. I, I'm just getting like, now that I see this world with everything that's coming out in the collective energy, it's like a portal. Somebody keeps on trying to access a portal. They need an access point. And I feel like what they saw in that damn portal is you in a relationship. <laughs> like somebody is trying to access something. They're maybe with your sexual energy. They're trying to like do something with your sacral energy. Okay. And I feel like you're now you're in a loving connection. You're in a relationship. They're sick because of what the fuck they just tried to do. Now they're trying to run away or they're trying to hide the fact that they did this. Or it's like they're trying to be aloof or like, oh, you know, nothing's going on with me. I'm cool. This person is like slow as fuck. Okay, some of you guys could be like online or you could be very sexy. You could take very sexy photos or 
something like that. I don't know, but this could be this this Queen of Wands could talk about like vitality, you feeling energized, you working hard here. Okay, it talks about you being passionate, you're going after your desires. Yeah, and I feel like you're you're in a union with someone. You're in a union with someone. So somebody here has tried to do something recently, and I feel like they ass got kicked the fuck out or they stuck in that shit. They're stuck in it. What's the what's because Archangel Michael is showing up? What's the King of Swords? They keep trying to access something with your fertility, your abundance, your wealth. It's like, bitch, what's the what's the King of Swords? Some somebody here got their ass blocked. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles. What's King of Swords? Page of Pentacles. Yeah, and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody here that's trying to hold on to you or. They're being greedy. They're like, there could be like two men doing this to you. Okay. <laughs> One is trying to leave whoever the fuck they would to come back towards you because they're still holding on to you. Then you got somebody over here that's married that keeps attacking you. It's like, what the fuck? Y'all need to get the fuck on somewhere. Ain't nobody asking y'all to, to marry them raggedy ass hoes that y'all don't want to be with or keep using people for your own selfish gain if they not raggedy, whatever it is. Like, get heal. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? So... <clears throat> Somebody here just offered up something. They just gave some sort of offering or somebody has some sort of strategy or plan to hold on to something. What's this damn four of pentacles? What's four of pentacles? <laughs> Capricorn sun. We got Taurus Virgo. Cappy. Yeah, look at this. That's what I'm saying. Another Leo here. I can't make it up if I try it. Like, I know what the fuck I feel. Okay. I barely even need the cards to do a goddamn thing. <laughs> like, really? Yeah, this person is greedy as fuck. They're disloyal. They're not a real leader. Very abusive. Very reckless with their sexual energy. Just a very nasty, controlling person. And they try to like do some sort of magic on you to access something. There you are, Queen of Wands. I feel like that's you. That's you. It's something about your sexual energy. This person is trying to access something that they cannot get through some sort of portal. And <laughs> they try to sneak and do this shit. Or they getting ready to do it. And they ask getting ready to be met with a tower and sickness. Like I'm dead serious. Or they already fucked up. And they acting like they're not. Yeah, this is like some sort of sex magic or some shit. Somebody's like crazy. They're doing some sort of divination. Page of Pentacles is an offering. It's like, it's, it's, um, somebody here could be a reader. You could be a reader or this is some sort of divination work. It's earth magic. Could be root work or something. What's this damn King of Wands in the reverse? 7-Eleven is on the clock. You guys will be saying those synchronicities. What's King of Wands in the reverse? Yeah, the Four of Wands. There's a contract that's already here. I feel like something is already stamped, is here. Or this person could be doing this with a community. But I feel like a goal has already been achieved. Something has already been, like, reached. I feel like somebody's like, well, oh, let me just try to see if it works. Because, you know, I, I usually am able to access this energy. Or I'm usually able to ruin relationships for Leo or whatever the fuck. This time it didn't work. Archangel Michael stepped in. Now somebody's, like, running. <laughs> they running from something. Yeah, somebody got rejected because you have your counterpart here. King to the Queen of Cups right there. Four of Cups, Three of Wands. Yeah, the Emperor and the Devil. Like, somebody, yeah, and the Judgment and the Three of Swords. And the this person here is getting ready to be heartbroken or they asking ready to be sent up out of here. That's their judgment. They're sick. They're sick. What's up? Uh, give me one of King of Wands in reverse with the Four of Wands. Aries, Venus. Yeah, Ace of Swords in the reverse. That was the wrong damn decision. The wrong damn decision. Because I feel like you're already in a in a union. You're already in something. You're already in a contract. So this person thought that they could like do this. And I feel like it's the spirit trick they ass. They made this person feel like, oh, I can, you know, they can still do this because it worked every other time. I feel like spirit let shit work every other time to trick this person into believing that they can do this at a time where something is really stamped and 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 delivered to you. Okay, you get what I'm saying? Like, something, this person here is just dumb. It's, they are. Ace of Swords in the reverse is definitely someone here that's frustrated. Or somebody here could be arguing with a community. Or th this is just like making the wrong decision, though.
somebody here has lied to a community, lied to their family about some shit. Something here was unsuccessful. A goal has been reached for you here. So this is you celebrating or whatever the fuck this is. Somebody can't even concentrate. They can't focus. They can't think straight. It's a lot of hostility or somebody could be in a very hostile environment. I feel like they're like penny pinching and they, and they fucking gave their last offering up to something dark. And I feel like to access something of yours and it didn't work. Like it just did not fucking work here. It didn't. Yeah. Somebody, we got the emperor to the empress here and the judgment, the emperor, the devil, and the damn um judgment here. This emperor is your probably your divine masculine, is what I'm picking up. And they're not playing with this person. This person here is stepping in like they could be doing something spiritual or spiritually, they don't even realize that they're doing it. You're masculine. This was a setup here. Like, God is so funny. <laughs> like, this was definitely a setup. The devil, somebody here sacrificed themselves. Like, somebody literally has a contract with the devil or, like, the dark side or something like that. Like, the underworld. This person, okay, yeah, I'm getting that strong. The, the emperor with the devil and the, the judgment. This person here literally brings people to judgment. Yeah, like, somebody here works with the darkness but in a positive way to help god out you know what i'm saying this is like a dark angel or they, they have dark angels that avenge you know what i'm saying like i said that does work down here to catch people like this whoever this damn warlock is this dark wizard or whatever the fuck they call themselves yeah somebody here don't know who they fucking with this emperor here is not playing with this person i feel like they already caught their ass in the spirit like bitch you are not going to fuck with this damn empress and you damn damn sure not fucking with me you definitely crossed the line doing that shit i feel like this person thought they could attack this damn emperor it's like bitch absolutely the fuck not i got ties to whatever the fuck somebody here got connections to the underworld like bitch what <laughs> somebody got connections to the underworld somebody's literally bringing someone to their judgment day and this could end in a three of swords like day of ass so that way you could be peaceful temperance and the nine of cups you can enjoy yeah the eight of cups nine of cups and you can enjoy your good fortune your good luck it's like somebody here just won't release you and they keep on trying to do some shit okay bitch all right okay <laughs> like it's all good it's definitely all good what's emotional cheating what's emotional cheating here um, okay, I didn't think that. What's emotional cheating? Yeah, nine of cups in the reverse. Somebody here that's arrogant, cocky, conceited. I feel like somebody here got some sort of a wish wasn't granted. Okay, they're they're sad, they're depressed, they're miserable. They're just miserable all the days of their lives. It's like, bitch, that's why you need to move on and stop fucking with all this dark shit. Stop fucking with shit you know really nothing about. Stop abusing your power, bitch. Like, Spirit did not give you these gifts for you to sit up here and abuse them. Like, what's the emotional cheating? Somebody could be drinking a lot. Or they, they, they're, this is like substance abuse. Or they got some sort of addictions. Or someone could be overeating. Or they're under eating. They're, they're, somebody had to have bulimia or anorexia. This person that's depressed. Okay, I don't know. What's emotional cheating with the nine of cups in the reverse? Yeah, the strong card here. Yeah, you took your energy back. This is you. Strong. Moving on, overcoming any obstacles. Okay, or this is like somebody's pride and ego getting in the way. And that's on their ass. But the strength card is having the inner confidence to overcome something. What's the nine of cups in the reverse? Yeah, the eight of cups. Yeah, you, you're walking away. You're you're stamping something. It's done. It's over with. It's like you're just done with it. So the Eight of Cups, yeah, you see the bigger picture of a situation. You just walked away. You're done dealing. Like, this person needs to release you. I feel like you've been walked away. Or oh, this person need to fucking walk away from you and leave you the fuck alone. What's the strength card? Yeah, the, the Wheel of Fortune. What's strength card? Wheel of Fortune. 717 on the clock. Seven of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, just surrender it. Just surrender, bitch. Just surrender. Just let it go. <laughs> okay, Seven of Wands in the reverse. Is somebody here that won't. They feeling like compromise too. They won't compromise. They won't work with you. Somebody is like burnt out. They're so tired. They're drained of trying to compete with you or trying to compete with this damn man in your life or trying to like tap into some energy that they don't know shit about or whatever the fuck. Or they do know about it. They just abuse it. Whatever. This 
person here has burnt the hell out of their sick. <laughs> Let's see what's going on here. Give me a card for Leo. The meter came out again. So this talks about tenacity. Okay, you're almost at the end of something here. Just keep moving forward. Keep working. You guys could be seeing a lot of bees. We just had Demeter and Pisces. Go watch Pisces reading. Give me another card. We have Mazu. Bottom of the deck is the mother. So some of y'all could be pregnant with a new idea or you're getting ready to be a mother. Okay, like... Or somebody need to heal their damn mother issues, their mommy issues, or something like that. <laughs> Ooh, I keep trying to sneeze. So we have a key word is rescue. The symbols are dragons, sailing ships, willow tree. Your affirmation is I am willing to accept aid in my life. Mazu is a Chinese goddess of the sea. In her most enduring myth, Mazu's father and brothers were out at, at sea fishing and caught in a terrible storm. She knew that they were in danger, even though she was far from them on the mainland. She used her magic to project herself out to sea to save them. From that moment on, she has been the goddess of the sea, fishermen, farmers, and ocean rescue. It is common for people to pray to her to keep those on the ocean safe. It's said that all you have to do to receive Mazu's aid is to call her name and she will come. So it says, Mazu has come into your reading today as she has heard the call for aid from the universe. Okay, they stepping in, like just period. <laughs> Spirit saying surrender and just keep moving forward with confidence because somebody here getting ready to be fucked up. Let they ass go where they gonna go. Okay, it says she, she heard even if that call was not audible and came from somewhere deep within you. This help may not look exactly how you thought it would, but rest assured it is on the way. Do not give up. You are not alone. Mazu often comes up in readings for healers, readers, counselors, parents, and people who work in service to others as a reminder that you are not here to be a martyr. You do not have to be the one who takes on everyone else's burdens completely. Observe, witness, and help, but do not absorb their pain and responsibilities and take them on as your own. So it says work with Mazu. Create and use mantras that allow you to, to create space to accept aid in your life. Spend time at the ocean and thank Mazu for the times the divine has come to your life. And send a little thank you note to the people to serve others in their work. Okay, so, yeah. What is Mazu again? Rescue. Yeah, they coming. <laughs> Spirit saying keep going. That's why Demeter is here with tenacity. Keep going. Don't give up. Okay. So this was your reading, um, Leo. I hope this resonated for you. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss my readings, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.